Well, in about a week, Judge Donald Floyd expects to decide if voters will go to the polls for Beaumont School Board elections. The judge held a hearing last week and a second hearing today. KFDN's Leslie Rangel was in court for both hearings. She's with us in studio. Leslie, what did we find out? Well, Greg, attorneys for the school district and three people who want to run for board seats say the law is on their side. Judge Floyd will study the law and examine several options. He could issue a temporary injunction to stop the November board election, or he could order an election, but would have to decide if it should be held November 5th or later. And will the three challengers, Donna Forgas, Marcelino Rodriguez, and Linda Gilmore, run unopposed? Because three incumbents, Board President Woodrow Reese and Trustees Terry Williams and Zenobia Bush, didn't file in time. Both sides say their confident Judge Floyd will rule fairly based on the evidence presented in court. These three candidates who are trying to get board seats without an election, uh, the court shouldn't, shouldn't be a part of that. Uh, they should say, look, we had an election in 2011. These folks couldn't get a majority, much, and uh, so they can try again the next time these four seats are up. But it's up to the voters to decide, not the court system. And all we've ever wanted from the very beginning is for our school district and the elections for our school board to be held in accordance with Texas statutes. That is the main point we made today. Everything else is a smokescreen. We're here to follow the law. The judge says there's a lot of evidence to review. He expects to make a decision in about a week. Stay with KFDM for continuing coverage on the BISD election case. Reporting live in the studio, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News.